The following video presentation is a basic guide on how to install the Isotrack sound isolation system. The first step is measuring. It's a fact that improper measuring can lead to system failure, so please take your time and double check all measurements. For our presentation, we're using an 8 foot by 8 foot 2 by 4 wood stud wall, 16 inches on center. Start in the lower left corner of the wall assembly, and on the first stud, measure 6 inches up from the floor and make a mark. Go to the 8 foot stud and repeat the process. Measure 6 inches up and create a mark. Using a chalk line, snap a line across all the studs. Each line should measure 6 inches from the floor. Go to the top left corner of the first stud in the stud wall assembly. Measure down 3 inches from the ceiling and create a line. Go to the 8 foot stud top right corner of the stud wall assembly, measure down 3 inches, and create a line. Using a chalk line, snap a line across all the studs. Each line should measure 3 inches from the ceiling. Go back to the first stud. Measure 49 and half inches from the floor and create a line. Proceed to the 8 foot stud, measure 49 and a half inches from the floor, and create another line. Using a chalk line, snap a line across all the studs. Again, all the lines should measure 49 and a half inches from the floor. Go back to the first stud, and from the 49 and a half inch line, measure up 24 inches and create a line. Go to the 8 foot stud, measure 24 inches from the 49 half inch mark, and create a line. Using a chalk line, snap a line across all the studs. All of these lines should measure 24 inches above the 49 and a half inch mark. Go back to the first stud. From the 49 and a half inch line, measure down 24 inches and create a mark. Go to the 8 foot stud, measure 24 inches down from the 49 and a half inch mark and create a line. Using a chalk line, snap a line across all the studs. All these lines will be 24 inches below the 49 and a half inch mark. This completes the measuring section of the installation process. It's time to start installing pads. Start in the lower left corner. Peel the backing from the pad. Place the pad so the top of the pad is even with the line. Proceed up the stud. Peel and place the next pad, again making sure the top of the pad is even with the line. Continue placing the pads on the first stud as shown. Following the same procedure, place the pads on the 8 foot stud. Starting at the bottom of the wall assembly, go to the 48 inch stud and place another pad. Place the second row of pads as shown. Place the third row of pads. Place the fourth row of pads. and place the last row of pads. Pad installation is now complete. A diagonal pattern should appear when the pads are installed correctly. Also, the first and last studs should have pads at every mark. Now it's time to start installing the tracks. Starting in the lower left corner, attach the tracks to the stud with the provided hardware. Pre-drilled holes in the tracks help with correct placement. Be sure not to over tighten, fit should be snug. Install the tracks centered on the pad. The bolt should be centered on the stud. 
Go to the next pad and attach the tracks. Center the tracks on the pad. Proceed to the next pad and install the tracks, again making sure that the tracks is properly centered on the pad. The first row of ISO tracks is now installed. Following the same procedures, install the second, third, fourth, and fifth row of tracks. The installation of the Isotrax sound isolation system is now complete. However, we still have a few more steps. It's time to hang some drywall. Place quarter inch shims along the floor to support the drywall. Place the first 4x8 sheet of drywall on the shims in position. Allow a quarter inch space between adjacent wall surfaces. Also leave a quarter inch space between adjacent ceiling surfaces. When positioned correctly, attach the drywall to the isotracks with one and a quarter inch fine thread drywall screws. The screws should be placed on 12 inch centers or follow your local building code requirements. Do not remove the shims until all drywall is secured. Position and secure the next sheet of drywall. Remove the quarter inch shims when all the drywall is secured. Apply acoustic sealant where the wall intersects with adjacent wall, floor, or ceiling surfaces. Finish the drywall using common established techniques. Installation of Isotrax sound isolation system is now complete.